So next up, I'm going to show you an example that say you've got a client drawing or a site plan that you want to insert into your existing or current drawing, but you don't want all of the layers and objects exactly. You just want the whole drawing inserted and ideally inserted as a block. Now, this is a great trick for inserting something that you're not really needing in the drawing, but you want to put it in for reference or temporarily. Or maybe you want to pick and choose a few objects that you'd like to pull out of it but at first you would like it to just be one single group or block. Now we're gonna do this exact same process here. We're gonna copy everything from our floor plan drawing into a blank drawing over here. And to do that, we want to copy the file path of our drawing that we wanna insert. So you can either find this in your uh, file folders or server, or if we've got it open, I'm simply going to right click on the drawing tab and copy the full file path. Now within our drawing, I'm simply going to type in I for insert, and then from there, we can hit this drop down over here, paste the path that we just copied, the floor plan drawing, and hit now let me place it, and it's going to insert everything from that drawing in the model space into our model space as a block. Now, typically I'm going to use that 0 comma 0 as our reference point, and it's going to ask you which angle you'd like. Just hitting enter is going to allow that to be 0, and you can hit enter if you have any other kind of pop-ups like that one. Now, we've got our entire floor plan drawing inserted, and if we open up properties by holding control and tapping 1, you can see that it is a block reference and it is all on one big object here. So this is great if you wanna throw something into a drawing just simply to reference, and if you do decide you want it to be in your drawing, typing in explode and selecting the object is going to break it out into its individual pieces, just like you did the entire copy and paste uh, with base point. This is a simpler and easier way to do that, but the downside to this is it's going to bring everything from that original drawing into your new drawing. So sometimes you may not want things like text or notes or some other section. If you want a specific amount of objects that you can select and copy and paste, if you want the entire drawing thrown into your current one, use that insert as block or insert command.